Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Hope you are doing great. God wants me to share this great testimony with you. When I was in school, the teacher told us there would be an exam in class and, and the teacher said the exam will be in our laptops so we could use the Excel spreadsheets. So I studied and the exam day came and I opened my laptop and I was doing the exam on the Excel spreadsheet. One of the questions I did not know. So I looked online. After the exam, I submitted the answer. Few days after, when I was home, I just finished eating. I was feeling sleepy and I wanted to take a nap. Then I received a message from the teacher. So the teacher was saying, oh, I can see that one of the questions, it looked like you got the answer from online. Am I correct? I did not know how to respond to that message. I was like, God, I'm in trouble. The teacher found out that I looked online and waiting for a response. God, I'm in trouble. So I prayed to God to forgive me and I asked God to save me. God, please don't let me fail this exam. It was only that question I looked online. So God, please don't let the teacher give me zero. No, it was a big exam. My heart was raising. And I started crying and praying, hey God, what should I do? Should I send a message to the teacher? What should I write? Oh God, please save me. So God said I shouldn't send a message to the teacher. God asked me what I wanted to do before I got this message. I told God I wanted to take a nap before I saw the message. God said I should take a nap. And when I wake up, he will advise me on what to do. But don't send a message to the teacher. So I laid on the bed. I couldn't take a nap. I was panicking. And God said I should not worry that he is in control. And I was like, oh, okay. Then I stopped worrying for like five minutes. Then after five minutes, I started worrying again. I prayed to God that God... Please help me not to worry. I can't stop worrying. So God told me to write in a paper that he is in control. Stop worrying. So I wrote in the paper that God is in control. Stop worrying. And God said I should meditate on that word as I laid on the bed. So I meditated on that word. God is in control. Stop worrying. So I believe I said in my mind up to like... Like more than 20 times then I I don't know when I dozed off you know so when I woke up I felt much better and stronger God energized me then I looked at my hand and I saw the paper that contained God's Word that God used to help me to sleep man I had squeezed the life out of that paper the point is God helped me to take a nap by meditating on his word so his word calmed me down and removed worry and helped me to sleep so god is saying to me to tell you that if you are finding it hard to sleep because you are going through a challenge write god's word in a paper and meditate on it and it will calm you down and you stop worrying and God will help you to sleep. Amen. So as I woke up, I told God, what should I do about the cheating situation? God said I should not send a message to the teacher. God said I should cancel all my plans for tomorrow and go to the school tomorrow and admit the truth that yes, I looked online for that particular question. Mm, I panicked. I was like, oh God, you know, like telling 
telling the teacher the truth. You no, know, I panicked. I was like, please don't let me fail the class when I tell him the truth. And I was like, God, please save me. Change the teacher's art. Let the teacher just remove the score for the one question that I looked at and not fail the whole exam. God, please save me. God said he will save me. God reminded me of a particular verse. He said, whatever we ask in prayer, believing we receive, Matthew 21, 22. So God said, I have asked him in prayer, I should believe all will be fine and I will receive what I prayed for. So I held on to his verse. Then I went to school, entered the teacher's office. Then the teacher asked if I looked online for the rest of the questions apart from that one i told the teacher no it was only that question which is true then i was just praying in my heart so the teacher said this needs to be reported to the school authorities then i was so scared you know the school authorities may expel me from the school like cheating is really wrong so in my mind i was like god please save me don't let the teacher report me. So I left the teacher's office. Then I went straight to the nearest school bathroom. I knelt down and I started praying. Like, God, I'm in trouble. The teacher said, report to the school authorities. God, I'm in trouble. Don't let the teacher report me to the school authorities unless I'll be expelled. I can't graduate. So I was like, God, what should I do? Then God spoke to me while in the bathroom. God said I should go back to the teacher and tell him to please remove only that score because that is the only one I cheated on. Please don't report me to the school authority. So I went to the teacher's office the second time and I told the teacher what God said to please only remove this score because that's the only one I cheated on. Please don't report me. The teacher insisted, same statement, we report to the school authority. Then I went back to the bathroom and prayed again. The bathroom like, is the only place I could kneel, cry, and pray without anyone seeing me. You know, don't get me wrong, you can pray anywhere, in your mind, anywhere. Like, without kneeling down, God will still answer. But I went to the bathroom because I wanted to kneel, cry, and pray in private without anyone seeing me. Like, if I did that in public, people would think I'm crazy. Well, I don't care what people think. I just wanted to be alone with God, you know. You know, in a private place, a quiet place. Even the Bible says in Matthew 6, 6, that when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So I entered the bathroom again, locked the door and prayed and cried to God. I told God that, oh God, the teacher still said, report to the authority. God said, so I was like, God, this is not working. Please save me. Please change the teacher's art. You created the teacher. You have the ability to change the teacher's art. God, please make the teacher remove the score of the one I cheated on. God, please save me. God, please, what do I do? You know, I was just talking to God. And God advised me to go to the teacher the third time and say, please remove more scores you want from the exam, but please don't report me. I don't mind getting a low score in the exam. Please remove whatever score. Please don't report me to the school authorities. I may get expelled. I may not graduate. Please, I'm sorry. You know. So I went to the teacher the third time. I told the teacher what God said. And the teacher said, okay, I will think about it. And before the, before the teacher said, I will report to the school authority. But now... Saying, I will think about it. So that is great progress. God is changing the teacher's art gradually. So we're continuing the next video.